And as mentioned, we are about 20 minutes ahead of schedule, so uh, the, it's expected uh, to get to that 30 meter point in about 15 minutes or so. And uh, once it uh, gets there, it'll depart uh, shortly after, once everything's ready, the actual capture window uh, will open up at 5.16 uh, a.m. Central Time this morning, 6.16 over on the East Coast. And then once it gets to that capture point, targeted to be around 5.24 a.m. here in Houston, uh, 6.24 again over on the East Coast, uh, the crew will get the go for capture. You can see things starting to get dark now as they are in an orbital nighttime. The Space Station and Dragon currently orbiting about 255 statute miles over the northern Pacific. And they're going to continue on this southeasterly track. They're going to swing just to the north of Hawaii, actually. Uh, but things will start to look a little bit better once sunrise takes place. And that'll be at about 5.14 a.m. Central, 6.14 a.m. Eastern. Thank you. We're anticipating Dragon to be captured in just under 39 minutes as they did get a little bit ahead of schedule this morning. The capture targeted to come right around 5.40 a.m. Central Time, 6.40 a.m. Eastern, 3.40 a.m. for our friends over on the West Coast, including those at Hawthorne, uh, where SpaceX and their Mission Control Center has overseen Dragon throughout all of its phases of flight since that launch back on Monday afternoon uh, to where it now sits. So again, getting closer to that capture will continue, continue to stand by. And we'll get some movement out of Dragon uh, in the next couple of minutes as it continues to close in on the International Space Station. And if you look towards the bottom of your screen, you can see light just beginning to peek its head over the Earth's horizon as we are in that sunrise now, Dragon now illuminated by the sun and not just the lights uh, on board. Getting closer and closer to that robotic arm, which is going to reach out and capture it in just about 26 minutes from now. Everything's still looking great with the vehicle for 5,800 pounds of cargo inching closer to the International Space Station. Station Houston on space to ground two for Dragon approach. You have a go to confirm capture point hold per step six in 1.102. Copy that, step six and work. Thank you, Andy. And we confirm we are in uh, mode E hold. Pry range is one zero decimal seven six. Secondary range is uh, one zero decimal seven nine. Primary range rate uh, zero decimal zero zero two. And the CCP configuration is as published. Copy all. Thank you. All right, well, as you just heard, Dragon now at that capture point. So 255 statute miles beneath Dragon. You can see the southern part of the Atlantic beginning to end and the southern part of Africa coming into view. The station and Dragon are about to cross right over the top of Namibia and begin to pass uh, over the southern and central parts of Africa. Again, we are just a few minutes away from capture. should see the arm in motion momentarily. And as you can see from the video here, this actually, if you right at the end of the robotic arm, the arm is in motion. So it's now going to slowly move its way out. Uh, this is actually a view from one of the latching end effectors, essentially the hand on the robotic arm. And it's going to grapple with that gray fixture right in the middle of your screen with that little tri-point uh, fixture.
And at this point, Norishige Kanai slowly driving the cannon arm to end towards the Dragon spacecraft, using its thrusters to maintain that free drift right outside of the station. And we are just moments away from capture. Arm right now just about four meters away. Three meters in closing. Two meters to go. Dragon now in free drift. Less than a meter to go. Everything looking good, the arm well aligned with Dragon. Standing by for capture confirmed. And as you can see in this view, we have capture confirmed. Capture coming almost right on time, 5.40 a.m. Central Time, 6.40 a.m. Eastern. While well, the station was flying over the southern part of the Democratic Republic of the Congo. So with that, Dragon captured the 14th resupply mission from SpaceX in the grasp of Canada Arm 2 and the crew of Expedition 55. One step closer to being attached to the station, but a very successful capture this morning.